friends i am going to talk to you today fracture of both bones of forearm 1 radius 2 ulna 3 both bones so whenever a fracture of radius or the ulna occurs isolated we call them as isolated diaphyseal fracture of radius or isolated fracture of ulna in the diaphyseal region nowadays we call it as diaphyseal fractures that is why when they are isolated and only one bone is there we call it as isolated diaphyseal fracture of the radius or fracture of the ulna very often both the things are combined that is fracture of both bones of forearm now diagnosis how to make a diagnosis of fractures of both bones of forearm very very easy to make fracture both bones of the forearm the history is more often than not direct violence somebody trying to protect like this or falls and hard object like this any of these can produce or indirect fracture also that is fallen outside hands also can sometimes produce but most often the injuries are due to direct violence and somebody protects himself like that is likely to take the hit here so these are all sometimes we call this as defense fractures the signs and symptoms are as usual pain all classical symptoms will be there if both the bones are fractured swelling tenderness all the things the fundamental thing will be very often correct if you forget about signs and symptoms this are some of the common things will be there in every fracture so especially in the case of forearm we talk about pain swelling tenderness and deformity then at the two fragments rub against each other they produce a noise which we call it as crepitus and there will be abnormal mobility why we call it as abnormal mobility is as you know the movement is supposed to take place at the wrist or at the elbow but when both the bones are fractured you can feel the mobility here between these two things that's why it, it's not a normal mobility that's why we call it as abnormal mobility so all these classical signs are seen in fractures of both the bones of forearm but one more thing here you've got to remember both bones of forearm nearly 70 to 80 percent of them will be compound as well this compound nature of the form you can see especially in motor vehicle accidents or somebody falls from a height landing down so of course you know what is a compound fracture that is the fragments may sometimes momentarily come out leaving a small punctured wound or sometimes there will be extensive damage to the skin and soft tissues so some of these things especially fracture both bones nearly 60 70 percent may be compound fractures as well especially in children we used to call them as green stick fractures these are very common in children here is there will be a history of fall followed by pain more than the pain there will be very obvious deformity both bones are bent here the entire forearm looks like this almost like a c shape so this is very important in children now as more and more pediatric orthopedic surgeons are available they call they don't call it as green, green stick fracture but they call it as plastic deformation now how to confirm the diagnosis of course x-ray will reveal x-ray confirm the diagnosis now what is that the point that you have got to see in the x-rays the most important thing is line of fracture suppose you take like this simple transverse fracture then there will be short oblique fractures like this or there will be spiral fractures like this this is very very important because each has to be tackled in a different way at the time of a surgery or whatever it is needed so this is a transverse this is short oblique spiral or sometimes it may be long oblique fracture may go like this so this is very very important for us because at the time of fixation you have got to take special care when these kind of fractures are there in addition to that you see segmental fractures that this is radius if you take it and this is ulna if you take it ulna might be broken here like this the radius may be broken in two places this is known as a segmental fracture a separate segment is there this is very very important because if you are not aware of it the segmental fracture the proximal fracture may unite whereas the distal fracture may, may not unite in spite of all the care you take it's not uncommon to have a non-union or implant failure delayed union or non-union or mal union also may be there that's why the first thing that you have got to see in the x-ray is 
the line of fracture than the number of fragments. So, sometimes as I already mentioned earlier you can see I told you there is a fracture here and another fracture here. This I told you as a segmental fracture. Sometimes what happens near transverse fracture here this is what is known as butterfly fragment like this separate fragment comes off. This is known as butterfly fragment. 